just getting launched and I've already had my daily dose of adventure. Damn, I'm soaked. Those were some tricky waves there, but we made it out. Yes! Very excited for today. So welcome back everyone. Very exciting day. I've been looking forward to and dreading this day a little bit for the past year. So I am at this beach way, way, way south from where I live. I drove about four and a half hours yesterday just to be here. And this is also the beach where I was circled by a 13 foot great white. So a great white bigger than the kayak I'm on last year came up to me and circled me for about three minutes before peacefully going away, never to be seen again by me. But uh, definitely makes me a little bit nervous to be in these waters. I keep glancing over the side to see if I see a big gray thing just like it happened last time you know last year i was just jigging my sabiki up and down minding my own business trying to catch a little mackerel to use as bait when all of a sudden this tr this shark decided to check me up real close it's windier than i thought it would be this morning but i think it'll calm down and right now i'm just waiting for a buddy to launch i can see him right on the beach and i'm not marking any bait under me so i'm going to start throwing this swim bait See if I can pick up a fish before we even get started with the day. Just cast it out ahead of me. We let it hit bottom. Couple of reels up, so it comes up off the bottom and swings toward us. We wait for it to thump back down on the seafloor. There it is. A couple of reels up again. Ooh. Did I get bit there? Maybe. Second or third cast of the swim bait. Halibut like coming back to hit it. They don't just hit once, so I'm just bouncing it on the bottom here. Just marked a little school of bait under me, so I dropped the sabiki on him. small school just gonna go over it a couple of times we've been fishing out here about an hour looking for bait I found one solid bait ball but couldn't capitalize on it so I think I'm just gonna throw the swim bait around and keep an eye on the fish finder to see if any bait appears I'll just drop the sabiki on their head but the swim bait alone can be deadly out here. So, I don't know. I can usually find some bait. It's just, there's none out here today. We've been out here for about an hour and a half and we can't find a single trace of a bait fish. So I started thinking and to me, the only thing that makes me happier than one swim bait is two swim baits. So instead of having a live bait down there, for now I'm gonna throw down this swim bait. Carolina rigged, just like I would a live bait, except not a trap rig. This is the swim bait I'm using. Check out how this will look in the water. Sinker will be on the bottom, and the drift is pretty fast, so I'll, get, I'll be getting pulled decently flat fast. And you can see the tail of the swim bait is just going like that. Yeah, looking pretty nice. You know, on days when there's not a lot of bait in the water, sometimes the fish are much more active if you do get a bait down there. So, hoping the swim bait does the trick. Let's see. Let's drop it down. Fifty feet of water. 
give it a couple of reels up off the bottom and that's it putting the rod down and just you know ideally I would like a live bait on this thing not just a swim bait but this is what we got other rod is also throwing a swim bait double swim baits nice you know I've actually been wanting to try this maybe this is my sign I, I needed to just not find any bait to give double swim baits a proper go and I actually feel pretty confident about that thing GoPro, start recording. Yeah. I'm on the swim bait. Oh, fish on. How cool is that? Did not take long. Literally five minutes of having the swim bait down there and we're hooked up. Halibut. Wow. So cool. First time just trolling a swim bait. And three minutes in, we got a halibut. Oof. Just trying to get that quick unhook. But. Uh, I'm so excited about just catching it, trolling a swim bait. It's a beautiful California halibut on the small side there he goes first fish of the day down on the little trolled or not even trolled just drifted swim bait and let's see if we can get another one then once this wind calms down once it's less choppy i have a surprise ah something i tried in a previous video that didn't work that this time will hopefully here's some bait oh small school and i was too slow man bait is just nowhere to be seen today but this is what it looks like on the fish finder i just need a like Start with one, but give me three baits and I'm set. Look what I just got. I, I felt like I had a bait on there. It's not quite a bait. I got a sand dab. Look at that. We can count that as the second fish of the day. Second flat fish of the day right there. Oh, beautiful little sand dab. It's, ow, it bit me, ah! But not even, yeah, it barely has teeth. Anyways, check it out. If I flip it on this side, oof. If I flip it on this side, you can see kind of where its organs are. It's kind of translucent. It's just so, so tiny. These guys make good live bait for lean cod and such. It's kind of tempting. Would a halibut eat a sand dab? I don't know. I'll, I'll let him go. Stick with the swim bait. See you later, buddy. You can swim off now. Look, there he goes. Look at his little tail. Oh, that's so cute. So cute. Well, it's the only, it's the closest thing I've caught to a bait fish and it's 10.30 in the morning. It's just absolutely empty out here. Oh, there's some bait. I can see them right there. Please, please, please hit, please hit. Swimming it straight through them, I can see them. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. They're right there. Oh, I got bait right next to my kayak. Please hit it. I'm right by shore now, just looking for bait. Never have I seen such a lack of bait anywhere. Just pulled up right next to this pier, just flicking the sabiki at it. Just give me a perch. Anything, literally anything. Oh, oh, I had something. 
Yes, found some. Oh, look at that big bait ball. Hey, here, I found them. Get in, get in. Perfect. I don't even care. I'll, I'll take a pelican right now for live bait. Oh, big bait ball under me. Put these guys in the live wall. All right, still some under me. Yeah, they're right here at the front of the pier. Nice, another perch. Damn, I found like the perch hot spot. I'm gonna come out here next time I wanna catch a perch. Pretty decent size perch too. Halibut will gobble that right up. What, you want like a big one? Yeah. That? One more? Yeah, leave me a little one. Little one? Man, you caught a lot in a little amount of time, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, they were they were super thick there. Here's yeah, a Alright, we can finally get fishing. And now we have bait. Incredible. So here I have rigged up a nice lively perch on the trap rig. I've been wanting to try this thing where I drop in one of my old GoPros down there with the bait and then have it record. Last time I dropped it though, I dropped uh, I dropped one that I thought was waterproof. It was waterproof, just up to like 33 feet and I dropped it deeper than that. So now I got housing on this one and uh, I rigged it up in a way that it should stay staring at the bait. You see that? I literally just replaced my sinker with the GoPro and from what I get, hopefully it stays staring at the bait. I really hope so. Let's record. Hello, fish cam. Hello. All right, you ready to go down? Let's send you down. Let's see what it looks like just right here next to the bait. Yeah, it seems to be aimed at the bait somewhat decently. It's definitely not a science. Yeah, I mean, right? Looks like it's sort of looking at it. Okay, it looks good. I'm gonna drop it. That thing weighs a little over four ounces. So half the weight I was using before for my sinker, but we should be fine. So let's see dropping it down oh that gopro is fluttering down there super slowly <laughs> falling so slow but as long as it stays on or near the bottom should be good all right that's definitely on the bottom yeah i'm bouncing the gopro up on down off the bottom i'm gonna give it two or three cranks up now, let's see if we catch a halibut. That would be very cool. I want to get a big halibut underwater camera style. My camera was bobbing up and down a lot due to the motion of the waves, so I didn't get super stable shots, but here you can clearly see my bait attached to a monofilament leader. And here you can see a decent sized school of perch swimming around right by the ocean floor. Some fish seemed pretty curious and swam right up to the camera to investigate it, including this cheeky little guy right here. This is a Pacific sand dab, and he was quite interested in my bait, following it around for quite some time. We can tell it's a Pacific sand dab and not a juvenile California halibut because in this scene right here, you can see how translucent he is, a quality that these Juvenile California halibut do not exhibit. Oh, look at that. Oh my. I can still see it. A halibut just followed my swim bait all the way to the top. Can't see it anymore. Wow, this is the second time that happens to me in like two weeks. Oh, I'm in, I'm in 46 feet of water. 
The halibut just followed my swim bait all the way to the surface. Oh. All right, baby. We are in the right spot. We're gonna catch a fish here. Incredible. That's straight out of National Geographic right there. Wow. Yeah, a lot of people think halibut, although they are mainly on the bottom, they sit on the bottom, people catch them while salmon fishing. So they'll definitely chase things up. People have caught him on top water lures. They're a crazy fish, but they do prefer to hang out on the bottom. What a gift that was. What a, what a great sight to see. Yep, yep. GoPro, stop recording. There we go. This is a halibut. No, oh, it's still on, thank. Oh, came toward me for a sec. All right, on the swim bait. How else? How else would we catch him? Oh, please, we're now here, it's like 3 p.m. Ah, it's not that big, but it's a halley. Oh, good to see you, buddy. It's good to see you. Man, I've had to grind for this today. I have had to grind. There we go, swim bait comes out nice and easy. <laughs> Beautiful. California halibut, second of the day. I'm gonna release him. Definitely a keeper. I don't know how big, maybe, I don't know. But we'll send him on his way. Beautiful, beautiful fish. And I've worked really, really hard to catch this guy today. And uh, no better way than on the swim bait. Both of our fish came on the swim bait, actually. And look at the colors on, on this guy. Such a beautiful fish, you know? So much different coloration on this fish. They really are a spectacle of nature. I actually made some halibut shirts. They are meant to represent the halibut's coloration as accurately as possible. So I included eight different colors in the shirt just to show these guys off in their full beauty. And if you want one, you can go to fishermanschronicles.com or click the little thing popping up right here. Pop up, there we go. Or check the link in the description of this video. I'll post it up there. A beautiful fish. You can see it's quite calm when I'm just holding it in his hand, in my hands. And uh, one side is brown and the other is this completely white color right here. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Anyways, I don't want to have him out of the water too long. Man, I love halibut. He's just hanging out right now. They're, they're kind of like that. Like they don't expend much energy, but if I let this guy go right now, you'll see his, he'll slap his tail and he'll swim down super, super fast. But I'm just gonna wait till he decides to go by himself. You don't wanna go, buddy? What's up? You want me to send you off? All right, I'll send you off. Thank you. Thanks for that. <laughs> Man, I love halibut. Yes. Yes. Oh, mackerel. Get in. Oh, finally. Yes. No! Unbelievable. Unbelievable. The time is now 4.15 in the afternoon. Been out here forever. It's a real, real grind but beautiful country. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe for more. Check out fishermanschronicles.com to get your own halibut shirt. And until next time, tie lines, everybody. See you later.